Hello everyone, I'm Ivan Kander with Short of the Week, the leading curator of short films on the internet. For us independent filmmakers, visually, when it comes to movies, we have one general goal. We want it to look like film. Well, fortunately that's gotten easier. With more affordable, large sensor HD cameras and the popularization of DSLRs, for those on a budget, cinematic tropes have become easier than ever to achieve. You know what I'm talking about, shallow depth of field, increased dynamic range, etc. However, I wanted to talk today about one visual element of filmmaking that is often overlooked when it comes to short films, especially those on a budget, production design. As defined by the fine folks at the dictionary, production design is the overall look of a film that illustrates the setting and visual style of the story. It includes the design of the sets, location choices, costumes, and the choice and supervision of props. But why is this important? Well, to be specific, shallow depth of field ain't gonna matter much if all you're shooting in front of is a white wall. So many low budget shorts feature people talking in boring looking rooms, and let me tell you, that's just not cinematic. Next time you're watching a Hollywood film, pay attention to all the stuff that's happening in the background of the frame. Although it's not the center of attention, production design makes things interesting to look at, and oftentimes it can tell us more about the characters and their personalities. I mean, let's take a quick look at this screenshot from one of my favorite films of all time, Jurassic Park. In just one shot, we know everything we need to know about Dennis Nedry's character. He's a slob. He's brilliant. I mean, look at all that fancy code on the screens behind him. More importantly, it's evident he just doesn't care about his work environment, as is shown by his general disorganization. For more examples, Wes Anderson films are especially known for their unique production design, building entire worlds just through the use of well-constructed sets and awesome prop selection. Danny Boyle is another mainstream director who is known for his production design, often choosing incredibly unique locations to fill out his films. But what about the world of shorts? Well, the master of production design when it comes to shorts is filmmaker Jamie Travis. Like Wes Anderson, Travis has a precise eye for visual detail that is uncanny. To see what I mean, just watch The Saddest Boy in the World, one of three films in Travis's Sad Children trilogy. Being that it's so pronounced, the production design actually becomes a character in Travis's films. It's impossible not to notice, and thus the films are given this dollhouse-like feel, something that is both real and fake at the same time. But how about us low-budget folks? Well, to you I say, check out the work of Connor and Tyler Byrne of Brutter Films. Tyler and Connor have meticulously designed their shorts visually, choosing specific props and colors to really give their shorts a great old-fashioned comedic tone. And they do it without breaking the bank. Unfortunately, their work isn't available on YouTube, but you can watch several of their shorts in their entirety on Vimeo. I've included links in the description. And check out Fran's Daughter from director Eric F. Martin, a film that played South by Southwest in 2011. This is a drama that takes place in one cramped location and is entirely dependent on dialogue. But Martin amps up his visuals in other interesting ways by perfectly utilizing production design. The furniture is well chosen to be sure, but beyond that, check out the wallpaper. It's subtle enough to not be distracting, but it really cultivates a strong visual world. Seriously, if I can offer advice to aspiring filmmakers, spend less time worrying about what camera you're going to be shooting on, and instead really work on developing your story visually in other ways, from location selection to costumes to the props that fill out your frame. It's far too often overlooked in low-budget productions. Now, if you have other examples of great production design in shorts, share them in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking tips and custom short film playlists. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to go antiquing. Well, you know, for production design purposes. Until next time.